no, 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 don't look at this because this is something that we're gonna do in the coming weeks. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. No, no, not today. This is gonna be paludariums. Oh yeah, because we're gonna build something here in the corner. Follow me, guys. We have an empty spot here. Well, actually it's not empty because I have my tea ready. It's gonna be quite nice. When you walk in, you will already see the corner of the terrestrial plants hanging out. Tommy's is gonna start putting the structure together in uh, the warehouse. Yeah, the preparation is gonna be in the back, so let's do it. So good luck. Thank you. Welcome to the messy part of Green Aqua. This is our backstage warehouse bit where we usually prepare for client projects and uh, some of the store projects as well, like we're gonna do it now. This is gonna be a glass today. It's 60 by 30 on the base, so basically 60p bottom, but it's 85 centimeters on the height. We get two drillings in the back. I'm gonna get back to that later on why we need that. Basically, you see that the front glass is cut about 20 centimeters. This is gonna be the underwater part. And from this above, we're only gonna have some immersed plants and uh, terrestrial plants mostly. So let's get to it. First of all, I'm gonna do something that you should never do. This went out of warranty right now. I needed this because I have to lead this cable through this hole. I'm placing the pump in the back side of the paludarium, so it's actually gonna be covered by the background. Something like this. Cordial, okay. Right? Yes. Cordial. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know you just want to use your weird drinking sound. I got some suction cups that gonna help me to keep all these hoses in place. Because we want to build a full background up to the top and we want to make the, the water droplets coming from the very top of it. I'm gonna use these as the background. This is called an epiweb. As we're gonna tie the moss onto it, the moss is gonna get fresh water all the time. And I plan to make some kind of cutting on the top of it so the water hose lies in it. I'm gonna use the flourish glue if it's not dried up. I'm gonna actually use it for closing off the end. I've been trying to find some pieces which actually open up at the end. These holes are gonna be perfect places for different bromeliads, orchids, and we want them to stick out. This is the only way I can actually see it from the front as I would uh, later on in the gallery. And I'm quite afraid of heights. I know this is not height for most people, but for me it's more than enough. Precautions. We've glued in the uh, the wood pieces yesterday, and I'm really hoping it worked out well and they are actually in place. There was a lot of empty space in between the glass and the wood, and I filled it with glue. We are at the epiweb part. So this is gonna be our background layer. This one fits in here quite well. 
we're gonna tie some moss all around it. I'm gonna ask Lori to help me out with tying the moss because we have a lot of them. While he starts doing that, I'm gonna start cutting out the pieces needed for the background. Okay, this stuff is not easy to cut. I think it's enough for now. Let's check if we're gonna have some leftovers, then we can make it more dense okay. later on. Did you cut the moss into small pieces as Josh Sim told us to do? That's it. Oh. You really don't have any more for this project because then we won't have any to sell. <gasps> I've made a huge mistake. There's a hole underneath that I'm gonna need. Okay, my finger is on the other side, okay. so. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, didn't expect that. Uh, okay, but I actually need that bit. And we're back to gluing, which I wanted to start about an hour ago. flexible but it's holding and if we want to stick out so this is manzanita wood which obviously is totally different than iron wood but it actually the texture of it it looks quite identical and we don't agree on this with balage so Tommy wanted me to go first with my towards you I would really love to have some really proper planted tank feeling at the bottom. That has never been done before, so I'm really experimenting here. I didn't like the yeah. fact that uh, you wanted the uh, internal filter slash sponges uh, pads solution inside. So check this out. We're gonna put in the uh, glass in and outflows through this hole here. So it's gonna be, and also the CO2 in here. And uh, we have an external filter, the Oaza Biomaster 250. We're gonna have misting system from this corner. So the cold mist is gonna come out. So let's just build this thing and, and see where it takes us. No, I got it made. Yeah. Things been going my way. So I'm gonna be the customer now and I'm gonna be coming Hi, Bense, how are you? I'm absent minded here. And then, yo, oh, damn, that, that doesn't work. Why they so negative? How they envy how I edit it? Then my life is like it's precious. Just give me the mic and light it under lights. I put a knife and pressure, they fabricate it. Yeah, I've been as quick to set them straight. Yeah, I'm really nice to detonate. Let's do a full uh, Ryoboku layout. Let's get the same kind of wood coming out of here. We're going for wood. Actually, it looks good from this side as well. This underwater world is gonna be the first thing that they're gonna see when they enter. Now what I see is that we have a very clean top part and a huge piece of wood in the aquarium part. Yeah, that's the idea. Because I wanted the bottom to feel heavy. We're gonna need the power sand in the bottom and we're gonna need the Aquasail Amazonia on top. I'm bringing my small balls. I 
can go around. Check this out. And, and I'm back. <laughs> He's always back. We want some carpeting plants and we want some carpeting plants that are low-tech plants, low-energy plants, because we want them to grow under weak light. All right, so the plant selection is done. <laughs> we, have, we have a Monte Carlo pad and you have it. It's done. And the rest of it will be planted. I'm gonna try to attach the uh, Bucephalandras on the wood. I'm just gonna put them in the cracks. I would put some Elocaris in between the Monte Carlo here and there. Just hoping for it to survive. And hoping for it to survive. Because this is two mono species. You're doing too much hoping these days. Adding zippers to the back. It's gonna look awesome. It's gonna come up and it's gonna lie down on the surface. I really want to have guppies in this tank, Tommy. Can I have guppies in the tank? I don't like guppies. Terrestrial plants, here we go. This orchid has a label, which is handwritten and I can't read. <laughs> going to use a lot of aquatic plants that can actually thrive without waters. I'm going to bring some muscat on. I'm going to steal the plant. You can look for it. This door already fall. Oh, you what? took it out. Ho, 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 Christmas is here. Okay, it's getting kind of late for Balaj. It starts to go crazy around 6 yeah, p.m. Yeah, let's go crazy around these terrestrial plants. All right, guys, we're ready. So you can actually see that there's water dripping from the wood there and it's supposed to keep the background moist. Other than that, I think we're ready. Yeah, we're done. If you're new to the channel, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Hit that like button if you like this video and we'll see you next week with some more quality content and inspiration, hopefully. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.